And now we're getting in news that the Prime Minister and Myanmar Councillor Aung San Suu Kyi are addressing a joint briefing on Indo-Myanmar ties. Let's listen in. Your Excellency, State Councillor Dr. Aung San Suu Kyi, distinguished members of the delegations, members of the media, it is indeed a great pleasure for me to welcome Her Excellency Dr. Aung San Suu Kyi on her first state visit to India. Excellency, we are no stranger to the people of India. The sights, the sounds and vibrancy of Delhi are familiar to you. Welcome back, Excellency, to your second home. Excellency, you are an iconic leader. Your clear vision, mature leadership, struggle, and eventually success in establishing democracy in Myanmar has inspired people across the world. It is indeed an honor for us to receive you in India. We are also grateful for your participation at the BIMSTEC and the BRICS BIMSTEC Outreach Summit in Goa a couple of days ago. Excellency, Myanmar has commenced a new journey under your able leadership. Engage more closely together to depend on each other for our needs, the needs that are the needs of the world at large. The need to make sure that our people have material progress at the same time as they build up the, their spiritual resources for which India is so famous and which I believe is an extremely valuable resource. We've all, Burma has often been congratulated for the abundance of its natural resources, but we have always said that the most precious resource is the human one. It's our people who are most important. We will run out of natural resources in time, but our people should always be there to take our country forward. And this is why we look to India as a country made up of diverse ethnic peoples, diverse religions, diverse languages and out of all that you have managed to create a nation that presents a united front to the world and that is capable of helping other nations to progress along the same democratic path. We've always admired India for being the greatest democracy in the world and for being able to maintain the system in spite of the many challenges that have raised their heads since independence. We too have many challenges to face, but we are confident that these challenges can be overcome because our people are determined to overcome them. We are building up a very young democracy and India is helping us, especially with the capacity building of our legislators as well as our civil servants. We need both. We need to build up the capacity of our legislators to make sure that rule of law is established firmly and fairly in our country. I must explain that rule of law in Burmese, in Myanmar, translates as rule of just laws. It's not just any law, just laws, we say, the rule of just laws, and this is what we want. In order to have just laws, we need a legislature that is that has the capacity to make sure that our laws are just. And for this also, we looked to the experience of the Lok Sabha and other legislative bodies in the stand. Apart from just laws, we need the implementation of these laws, which means capacity building for our, our police force. And this is another area in which India is very kindly helping us and which we appreciate greatly. So with the rule of just laws in our country, we can go forward to establish a truly democratic federal union 
which is the dream of all our peoples, all our ethnic nationalities. We have been trying to bring peace to our country for many decades. We hope that the time has come for us to be able to say we have made it, we have made the breakthrough, we are now firmly set on the path to a union that will be a union for as long as the world endures. And in this too, we looked to India with its experience of federalism to teach us how we may best bring all our peoples into the process, to be part of our search for peace, stability, and a strong, enduring federal union. Once again, I would like to thank His Excellency and also to take the opportunity of thanking the President of, this Indian, or of India for inviting us to be guests at his residence, Rastabadi Bhavan. This is a signal honor done to us and we cannot but appreciate it from the very depths of our hearts. Thank you. I thank the two leaders for their statements. This concludes the joint press briefing. Thank you all. The State Councillor of Myanmar, Aung San Suu Kyi, once again expressing her gratitude. She is here in India and during her three-day visit, she was even accorded a ceremonial welcome at the Rashtrapati Bhavan and was talking about the importance of uh, having and implementing just laws in one's country.